Good evening, I'm Heather Armstrong. Well, the Ho-Chunk Nation is in the process of bringing back its language. News 19's Chandler Brindley is here. After spending the day, you were at the Ho-Chunk District 1 Community Center. So tell us what you learned today. Heather, I had the opportunity of sitting in on some of this revitalization or bringing back that of the Ho-Chunk language in Black River Falls. The effort is in partnership between the Ho-Chunk Nation Language Division and the Language Conservancy. The day consisting of younger generations of Ho-Chunk recording words and phrases onto an app that will be available to the public and used within the Ho-Chunk Nation. Each recording session consisting of male and female guided by a Ho-Chunk speaker for accuracy and expertise. One of the Ho-Chunk speakers expressing the importance of teaching the younger generation the Ho-Chunk language. If we lose our, our Ho-Chunk language, we're not even going to be called a nation or tribe anymore. We're losing that status if we, you know, lose it all. So I'm glad that these younger people are, you know, putting effort into trying to learn, you know, more about the language. According to the University of Wisconsin-Madison Languages website, there are only 80 fluent speakers of the Ho-Chunk language remaining. Hopes of this revitalization is to get younger generations speaking the Ho-Chunk language again through the app. And Heather, the revitalization recording sessions are taking place until Friday as work continues. It sounds very interesting. All right, thank you, Chandler. Now you can find out more information um, about the Ho-Chunk Nation by going to their website ho-chunknation.com.